You almost didn't believe me until you saw him. I saw the claps only starting once he came out. Mr. Ajay Bijli, a round of applause for him, please. Mr. Farhan Akhtar. Zoya Akhtar. Hi, Farhan. Thank you so much for joining us. Zoya Akhtar. Thank you, Zoya, for joining us. Mr. Siddharth Roy Kapoor. Thank you, Sid. Mr. Rohan Sippy. Mr. Vikramaditya Motwani. Mr. Kabir Khan. And Anupama Chopra. Love it. It's like, you know, and above all, you know, one of those feelings. You know what? They say the most successful things are run by the most amazing women. And mommy is one such amazing thing, of course. So uh, it's my absolute honor to welcome ladies behind the Geo Mami Mumbai Film Festival. Starting off, of course, with Anu Chopra, who's right here, Festival Director, Geo Mami Mumbai Film Festival. A round of applause once again, please. And helming this, of course, alongside Anu, we have Maitri Das Gupta, the co-director of the festival. Hi, Maitri. And Dipti Rakuna, artistic director, Geomami, Mumbai Film Festival. Over to you, ladies, Maitri. Hi, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us today. We're really, really excited about the upcoming edition of the festival this year. And I will bring in Dipti to take us through some of the details of what we have planned. Hello, everyone. Thank you. Um, this year, Geomami has expanded its vision from discovering and showcasing the best of Indian cinematic talent to spotlighting South Asia and South Asian diaspora filmmakers. We aim to become the hub for South Asia by discovering and connecting emerging talent from our region to the worldwide festival ecosystem. This year, we've received a record of over a thousand submissions for our South Asian categories alone, of which over 400 were feature length films. And this is despite having an eligibility criteria of being a South Asia premiere. For the rest of the international selection, which forms a majority of our program, we sourced from what was programmed across various top international festivals and markets. Today, we are unveiling a selection of over 250 films, which include features and non-features. And all of this has been possible only because of the experienced team that we have that includes our advisors, consultants, and selection committee. We have with us Anurangachar, head of international program, the ultimate cinephile, who has been with Mami for much over a decade, getting us absolute gems at this festival, and Bina Paul, Liz Shackleton, Marco Mueller as our advisors. Our consultants are Dennis Lim, Minakshi Shedde, Paolo Bertolin, and John Sick Thomas, who is also the curator of the much loved After Dark section. And our wonderful selection committee members, based across India, uh, some are with us here, some are new, and some have been with Mami for ages. All of us are very proud to bring you this lineup uh, as a team, which we hope you will appreciate. We will begin with an AV on our very first South Asia competition section, which is our main competition this year, after which our board member, Mr. Siddharth Roy Kapoor, will speak a few words about this section. GeoMami has introduced the South Asia competition section as a part of its new vision to become a hub for South Asian and South Asian diaspora cinema in the region. The, this competitive section aims to showcase breakthrough contemporary South Asian films of the year. 
These 14 films are from debut and second time filmmakers from across India, Bangladesh, Bhutan and Nepal, as well as diaspora filmmakers from the UK and Germany. These films are presented in diverse languages such as Bengali, Nepali, Garo, uh, Hindi, Marathi, Kannad, Malayalam and Zonka. Thank you so much, Sid, for that. And uh, give him a big hand once again, please. Our wonderful, wonderful members. <laughs> Sounds so exciting. Some of those titles looked so, so exciting. I can't wait to watch them at the festival myself. But for right now, this is just the beginning. Uh, as the curation for the next section of the festival is going to blow your mind, let me tell you, I'm talking about world cinema. And for right now, eyes on the screen, because some of the buzziest titles for this section are waiting to make their debut right now at MAMI. So eyes on the screen, please. Thank you. Part of the festival since its inception in 1997, this segment offers a panoramic view of the most ambitious and accomplished new films from around the globe. This year, we have over 110 films, including the Palme d'Or and the Camera d'Or winners from the Cannes Film Festival, the Silver Bear winners from the Berlin International Film Festival, Audience Award winners from Sundance Film Festival, Golden Shell winner from San Sebastian, and over 15 official submissions to the 2024 Academy Awards, also known as the Oscars, from countries like Brazil, Chile, Estonia, Finland, Japan, Lithuania, Morocco, Netherlands, Singapore, North Macedonia, Palestine, Romania, Tunisia, Mexico, Jordan, and Yemen. Some of our big ticket films include Anatomy of a Fall by Justine Trier, A Fire by Christian Petzold, Monster by Herokazu Koreida, In Our Day by Hong Sang Soo, Strange Way of Life by Pedro Almodovar, The Old Oak by Ken Loach, Fallen Leaves by Aki Korismaki, La Chimera by Alice Rowaka, The Beast by Bertrand Bonello, and Maestro by Badley Cooper. Thank God. I just want to give Woo! more power, more power. Thank you so much, Zoya. And let me take you through all of those important highlights of the festival. I remember being in Goa last week and someone very sweetly asked me, Lekin is saal naya kya hai? So I said, you know what? We'll actually give our members of the press exactly the answer to that question. And for right now, once again, eyes on the screen, please, as we get the rest of the board members to talk to us and take us through what the other competitions, awards, and new initiatives at this year's festival is going to look like. Can we have the AV, please? And Yamini, you'll agree with me, over 70 films by female filmmakers. A hallelujah, a time is here. Please give yourselves a big hand if you identify as a woman. And if you're a man and if you're an ally to the women, thank you so much. Over, thank you, thank you, gentlemen. Over 250 films overall. This is very exciting. We'll talk details later. But for right now, let's get the man who made us sing on the OTT. That is our Jubilee star, the one and only Vikramaditya Motwani, to introduce the South Asia competition and net back juries. Over to you, Vikram. Thank you, Roini. Uh, the South Asian competition jury has uh, head of juries, Mira Nair. Uh, there's David Mickard. Isabel Sandoval and Marianne Khoury. That makes up your South Asian competition jury. And the NetPak jury, the head of jury is Gulnara Abhikiyeva. There's also Latika Padgaonkar and Nation Moodley. Thank you so much. You know, one of the awards that we really look forward to each year at MAMI is definitely the Lifetime Achievement Award. And for this, I'd like to take this to Rohan Sippi to say a few words. Thank you. Yeah, uh, three very deserving recipients this, this time round. First is Aruna Vasudev, which is in recognition of a lifelong commitment as an ambassador of Asian and Indian cinema internationally and establishment of institutions that enable Asian talent through her work as a film critic, festival director, community builder, and creator of organizations like NetPak. The second goes to uh, the wonderful Nasreen Muni Kabir in recognition of her contribution of out outstanding artistic significance to the field of film and cinema for archiving the legacies of stalwarts of Indian cinema and making Indian films accessible globally through her impeccable subtitling of over 800 Indian films and counting. And third, we have uh, Uma de Cunha in, re in recognition of her lifelong commitment to showcasing Indian independent and art house cinema at film festivals worldwide and creating visibility for Indian filmmakers and talent internationally through her work as a festival programmer and casting director. Thank you so much, Rohan. And please give these amazing ladies a huge round of applause. 
And now, of course, can I please get in a national award filmmaker, the Pan-Indian star before the word Pan-Indian, Pan-Asian even happened, really, Rana Dagubati, to kindly talk to us about the other programs of the festival, Rana. All right. So the Geomami-focused South Asia section consists of 46 films, showcasing the diversity and offer of glimpse into the rich tapestry of South Asia. It includes works from Myanmar, Bangladesh, and Nepal, as well as diaspora's perspectives from Australia, Germany, and the US. These films spanning fiction, documentary, and hybrid genres feature more than 20 languages, such as Assamese, Burmese, Farsi, German, Pashto, and Konkani. In addition to the first time ever, Geomami has a festival hub which includes filmmakers' programs, press center, industry programs, market and a virtual reality setup. Thank you so much, Rana, for that. A big hand once again, please. Thank you. What is a festival without awards, right? We're all here to make sure that we felicitate the best, and that's exactly what this multifaceted and supremely talented gentleman, Farhan Akhtar, will not talk about. Thank you so much, Farhan. Over to you. Thank you. Some of the key awards that will be given out at the festival this year uh, the South Asia Competition, Audience Choice and Young Critics Awards, and the Gender Sensitivity Award, Gender Sensitivity Award International and South Asian Excellence in Cinema Awards. Thank you so much, Farhan. Uh, at this point, of course, we are missing a Kabir Khan, right? Yeah. Yes. So, Anu, should I ask you to do the honors? Uh, <laughs> would you talk to us about the other competitions at Geomami Mumbai Film Festival so this year? Firstly, uh, sorry for not being Kabir, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but I'll do my best. Uh, so some of the other programs and sections that have happened through the course of the year and will land at the festival include Word to Screen, the Best Book on Cinema, Short Film Competitions, and the Rashid Irani Young Critics Lab. Thank you so much, Anu, for that. Uh, all right, and now, of course, let me say one thing about the next gentleman who's going to say a few words. You know, if there is one, you know, theater conglomerate at this point that has opened their arms for the festival, and of course, anyone who wants to truly celebrate cinema, it has to be Mr. Ajay Bijli at PVR. So please give them a round of applause once again. Good morning. Morning. So we'd love to hear from you about your association with the festival and why the festival is so special for you. Well, uh, I'm with so many directors here, so I better stick to the script. <laughs> But uh, I, I, I can't help saying a few things that uh, I think what our industry witnessed during COVID was just incredible. Uh, the, the industry got completely annihilated. And if it wasn't for uh, the gentlemen sitting here, their uh, unwavering commitment to making movies and the consumers, Indian consumers, who've been going out and love the shared experience, I think the uh, cinema wouldn't have bounced back. So I'm so glad, first of all, theatrical businesses back, people are going out. And, um, and it's here to stay. And people used to keep using the word disruption. And I said, please don't call, use the word disruption, use interruption. Because we've gone through so many World War I, World War II, Spanish flu, so many things have happened, but yet theater has stayed. And once again, my thanks to all of you guys for your commitment and to the audiences in, in India. Back to the script now. Thanks for indulging me, guys. <laughs> so it's a 10-day festival, uh, eight venues, 20 screens are dedicated. 250 films in over 90 languages from 70 countries. And uh, we've been associated very uh, proudly with MAMI uh, since 2015. Thank you. Yes, thank you so much. Of course, this year, it's going to be Anu. Thank you. We spend more time in traffic than this press <laughs> conference. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, you know, I always say it takes a village to create a film festival. Uh, it's very hard work and genuinely, I cannot be grateful enough. First of all, to this amazing team, uh, they have kept the flag flying high. There's also Abhishek behind there. Please come out and show your face. Thank you. Give him a big hand. They've all worked relentlessly to this incredible board uh, who has always just come forth and supported us whenever we've asked for it. And to our partners uh, who are, of course, Geo, thank you very much. Uh, thank you, genuinely thank you. Uh, this festival is a gift that Geo gives to Mumbai and to this country, and we cannot be grateful enough. Uh, PVR Cinemas, yay, Ajay! <laughs> NMACC, 
Turkish Airlines, IMDb for partnering, partnering on the Portrait Studio and the Audience Choice Awards, Film Alula for powering special premieres, Royal Stag for continuing the partnership on large short films, Thomas Cook and Neom for powering the filmmakers program. So guys, all I can say is now, please go out, spread the word, encourage people to come. You will not get this feast of films anywhere else. Uh, so please support us and, and you know, just tell people it's a feast of the movies. Just come. Thank you. Thank you so much, Anu, for that. Uh, while I request the wonderful board to stand up and take perhaps, you know, a space here for the photo op, I'm going to request our friends from the press to also come forward for your photo opportunity. While they do that, let me just give you a quick reminder. Registrations are now open for the festival. Please log on to mumbaifilmfestival.com for more details on this. Uh, I said this before, I'm going to say it again. The Festival Hub is at the NMACC this year. Lots of exciting events, screenings, VR, brand and film marketplace, international press center, daily red carpets and daily press conferences. Screenings, as you know, will also happen at PVRs across the city. Regal Cinema is another venue in town. You can find all details of this on the Geomami website and on bookmyshow.com, the ticketing partner for the festival. Beyond screenings, there's always masterclasses, panels, and conversations lined up. Please don't forget to attend those as well. And please, if you're here, you're the coveted audience here, you've got to take it out there and make sure that this is going to be a crazy fun festival for all of us. If you have any more questions as a member of the press, please make sure that after this, you reach out to Mr. Abhishek Rana, Head of Marketing and PR at the festival this year. For right now, it's over to my friends from the press and, of course, the esteemed board to kindly step forward for the photograph. Thank you.